Welcome, finally back to, to Tree Creations. I'm Jerry Paul, and uh, last night I was out uh, after gardening. We were sitting out and having a fire, and uh, I was chopping up some firewood. <laughs> but I had to stop when I saw that in this chunk of firewood, and it was uh, it's really nice and tight. It doesn't look like it has too many cracks in it, and the cracks it did have I already cut off. Um, so I'm going to chuck this up and see what I can get. I could probably refine it a little better with a with a hatchet or whatever, but I'm just going to cut it down with the lathe and see how it, how it turns out. It's a really odd shaped piece of wood. And uh, there's a couple of little hairline type cracks in here, but I'm not too worried about those because, it, like I said, it's a pretty solid piece of wood. What I want to do is I just want to find its... Uh, balance point here basically and uh, I just don't want it wobbling off the lathe on me I hate it when that happens so I'm just gonna make some minor adjustments here and I'm doing it from either side to try and maximize what I'm getting here oh look at that it's so close just gonna go here up at the back side here or at the headstock. Which side do I want to take from here? Let's go up on this one here. Tailstock. I think that's going to work out just fine. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, now I'm just going to tighten up my tailstock here. And then I'll press the, uh, the wood into the spur drive. I'm going to take it out and knock it in. Once I get the impression there. Okay, and there's my uh, the impression from the headstock there, from the spur drive. Drive that in with the mallet. I'm gonna line up the uh, tailstock with the hole that it made. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. that up and give it a stand out of the way. <laughs> give it its first spin. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to get my roughing gouge and uh, start roughing this out. Alright, here we go. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, that's gonna look nice. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. I really don't like uh, wearing my sleeves down when I'm turning. I don't think it's safe. I'm gonna move my tool rest up a little closer. That tight. Looks about right. Okay, let's take a look at that. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Really nice. Kind of like a chocolate marble kind of color. Mmm, chocolate marble. Yeah. tear out in here but we'll see if we can't remedy that situation Just a little bit more in here, but my blade's getting dull, so I'm going to sharpen that and get back to it. Feels a bit smoother. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's going to be nice. Whatever it's going to be. A little bit more. Just a touch. Yeah. That'll do. Looks like it's just prone to tear out because the blade's pretty sharp. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Yeah. Now, what am I going to do with it? Well, whatever I do with it, first things first, I gotta square off the ends and make a tenon. That should do it. Oh man, that's kinda dull too. It's a nice looking piece of wood. <laughs> I was going to burn that. It's quite the crack up in here though. Another one here. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm just going to use my uh, small gouge. I want to see if I can smooth out the uh, bits of tear out I've got on here. And also see if this uh, uh, crack tends to uh, go away. Here's a beer bottle. Let's see if I can make something smaller, like a miniature version. Hmm. Okay. We're here, but that will probably lighten up as soon as I can actually. I don't really need this, do I? Hmm, so I got this kind of rounded here. Got the lip with the threads. I'm gonna take a little bit of that crack off there, I think. Yeah, now the shoulder comes out. Just gotta try and scale it properly. Yeah. Let's see if I can do that.
Alright. That's looking pretty good. I think I kind of shorted myself on the body a little bit. And I don't quite have the angle of the neck quite right. So I'm going to fix all that. You think that was cool? Well, it just wants to tear out no matter how sharp my blade is. Hmm. Okay. Just wanted to designate an area to part this off from. I just can't get rid of that tarot in there. I'm going to try sharpening my blade one more time. Uh, I don't have anything to thread this with, so I'm just going to just going to use my um, uh, skew chisel to uh, make some indications of uh, uh, threads. Sanded. All right, there we go. Sanded it from 80 grit all the way up to 320 grit. Uh, now for the fun part. Oh, actually, before the fun part, I'm going to drill a hole in there so it uh, gives it a little bit of authenticity. Right here is the fun part though. This is where I get to use my uh, Yorkshire grit. And that's what I'm gonna do. Yorkshire grit. Let's not get crazy. Well, look at those colors come out as this is getting it wet with the Eric Chagret. Alright, here we go. I was about to burn this. Crazy. That's just crazy. All right. It's been a little while, and the Yorkshire grit is probably dried. On. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try another coat. I haven't tried this with two coats. I you, this is only the second time I've used this stuff because I've been so busy in the garden lately. Anyway, garden's doing good, by the way. All right, round two of the uh, Yorkshire grit. Ooh, did seem to give it a little extra smoothitude. There, don't seem to be any excess. Now for the sheen. All right, here we are. Hampshire sheen, high gloss. Now let's go to low speed. Let's take a look. Now I'm just gonna let 
that dry for a bit, set up. And I'll come back and uh, we'll get that polished at high speed. All right, it's been a few minutes now and it looks like it's dried sufficiently, I think. I don't know, we'll find out soon enough. I've got a clean, dry paper towel. Let's start prepping. Oh yeah, there we go. That is shiny. Oof, I love that. Look at that. That's incredible. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, cool. You know what, it worked so nice, maybe I'll do it twice. Let me give it another dose and see if that does. I tried the uh, Yorkshire grit on it twice. Now I'm gonna try doubling up on the sheen here a little bit. All right, once again, I'll let that set up, come back, and give it a final buffing. All right, time for the final buffing. Oh, wow. Super cool. All right, I'm gonna part it off and show you the finished product. Oh, nice. So there we have it. They're almost twins. Big brother, little brother. Look. <laughs> Actually, I think mine is a bit glassier. That's what made it happen. Well, will you look at that? The little mini me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not bad, I'd say. It's a little bit shorter. But I think I got pretty close. Pretty darn close, I'd say. Neato. So that was fun. <laughs> That's me making a beer bottle. Thanks for watching. See you next time.